clip to wall paper is a heavily textured paper that is solid white and can be stained or painted. Today we're going to hang this paper and we're going to stain it, show you what a beautiful leather look it becomes. I have my paper already glued here. One thing that's very important is that you have to glue the wall as well as the paper. And because it's deeply embossed, you have to make sure that you use a lot of glue. Once it's done, this particular, this particular pattern is made especially for chair railing, below chair railing. It actually goes on very nicely. You just spread it on there. It glues very quickly. You want to make sure, though, that you don't get glue on this paper because when you start to stain it, it will not hide. However, if you're going to paint it, it won't be quite as important. Make sure that you get it rubbed down. Go back over it. Don't rub too hard, though, because you're going to rub the pattern right off the paper. It's very important when you do this that you get a paper that's very thick and heavy. It has to dry for 24 hours before we can stain it or paint it. So make sure you don't cheat and do it early. Our drying time is up and it's time to stain. It's so easy, all you have to do is just use a little sponge like this and dip it down into your stain. Don't get too much though, make sure you have all your woodwork taped carefully. Blot it on, don't rub. If you rub too much, just like before when we were installing the paper, if you rub too much, you're going to end up ruining your pattern and getting a lot of little fuzzy edges. So just squeeze the sponge into it, press lightly. Be very careful to keep the colors uniform. Also, don't start unless you can finish. If the phone rings, let it go because you can't stop a wall once you've got it started or your colors will never be the same. When we get this completed, we're gonna to move to the next step and do some polyurethaning. But this has to dry for 24 hours. We're ready now for our final coat. Polyurethane again, satin finish latex, just like before. Rub it on very gently, making sure that you cover it very well, but don't do it so thickly that you're gonna end up with runs. Make sure you get all of that rubbed down carefully, but do it gently. You're still dealing with a very delicate paper, even though it's thick and heavily embossed. It's very delicate. Don't panic when you see the color change. It'll get darker and darker, and then it'll start to lighten up again. When this dries for 24 hours, we'll come back and highlight it with some gold finger paint. It's time for finger painting. We're going to use a little acrylic metallic gold. Just put it in your little pan, and really the only way to do it, girls or guys, is with your fingertips. You just can't do it any other way. Rub it in the high parts. Just very, very lightly from spot to spot, and you'll see the highlighting take shape. That great metallic look. All that pattern is just gonna come right out of there. See that? Looks great, doesn't it? The more you do, the better it looks. If you want a really, really formal, elegant look, you can use more of it. If you just want a little highlighting, of course, it comes in a lot of colors, too, so you don't have to just use the gold. You can use a lot of other colors. The more you do, the better it gets. This takes a little time, so be prepared. But remember, it doesn't cost a lot. It's a great project. It's a terrific look when it's finished. I'm gonna continue working. You join me next time, see what we're gonna do.